Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Righty. So excited for this. Okay, so this is like literally legendary names next to each other. This for is Martin, no... who he was actually present. I was about to say it, but I wasn't too sure. He was watching the Francis Magalona Martin. Uh, yes, uh, uh, and Gary Valenciano concert when get the off, camera, up, whatever it's called. Yeah, when when the camera panned out. It was I, him who was getting pumped. I know man. with his ex-wife. I thought I <clears> thought he, I, um, I thought I I thought of it too, but I I wasn't sure and I didn't say it. But yeah, so this is yeah. them now collaborating. Ooh, how exciting! Anyways, let's have Children, a little family, mother, Pause, hold on. Uh, there, there is like a backstory to this in Gary's channel. Well, so I would with recommend, his granddaughter. So I would recommend watching it. It's awesome. It adds a lot of context, obviously. And he's got a little series going on called Showback Thursday. So it is awesome. We'll, we'll leave, obviously, the link to his channel there so you can check out this one. It's awesome. It's a fantastic way to look back at his <clears> career, <throat> though. I think this is so insightful for everybody. Actually, I want. I would like to know what it's the future for him. Oh. Like what, what what goals does he have, you know? Oh, that's amazing. Let's just, let's just have a look at this. And love all around. Ah. So many questions, so little time. Remember those frocks we used to have? Oh, man. I mean, remember those times when your days were, like, darker than your nights? When my days were, were darker, darker than, than my nights. nights. Wow. Did you write that? Ah, I love us. So did you write that? 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 Did you Yes. <laughs> when my days were darker than my nights. Do you remember those days? That's where this song was born. God, it's yeah. hot in there. Kind of reminds our children that even if their fathers may not be around forever, there's going to be a father. There is a father who loves them for who they are. Oh, that's nice. And he could love them more than they could love themselves. When you wake up each morning and you feel like calling, I'll be there for you. That man is just unbelievable. What a contrast, that's awesome. like highlight the difficulty of the vocalization choices that they're making not only because they're obviously vocally exhausted like they're physically exhausted so what, what was that <laughs> um but the the technique the technical choices they're making are the hardest ones to make in such in such a physical state you know I find it very mind blowing to me that this is their go to relax type of envir environment and choices that they they they, they peak they, they they take you know how and 
the 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 pullback of those falsettos, the harmonies that Martin is doing to uh, uh, Gary's rhythmicality, it's absolutely freaking wild. It would take me hours to depict exactly what he's trying, like what he was doing. And then when they came in together in that unison break in the, in that chorus, it was to a T, moving exactly the same way one to the other, a unity in completely different modulations and in completely different vocal tonalities and textures. It is so crazy to me. Like now it makes sense, right? Now it makes sense to me why I see Filipino groups, vocalists like the Buddha Kel that have mastered that unison sound. I can see where like the influences come from. It's it's obvious. This is what you grew up with. This was you would like what you would see on TV. So th that that became like part of their their thing, right? It, without even thinking about it. But it's such a difficult, even co like a concept to even grasp. There is, there is. I mean, it's definitely undeniable the the immense amount of benefit that you you can get if you're exposed to a a, a high caliber of whatever you want to be at so like say it's high caliber of singer yes. singing or high caliber uh, actors it definitely helps as you grow up and to be exposed to that environment mm -hmm. <clears throat> that that's why music goes so much further than just like what's popular or what is the formula to make a hit that's right it, sometimes it got well i believe it goes beyond that because it actually shapes how people develop to some extent and it shapes the future artists right that's whatever right. whatever becomes popular now it's it's shaping the five, six, seven, eight, nine year olds that will become the future stars of tomorrow. So the it it's no uh, it's no coincidence that the cycle of singing and singers in the Philippines continues it's to so be elevated. remarkable. Yeah. It's because yeah, the cycle doesn't end. It's it's one of those good vicious cycles yeah feeding off of the great and yeah, yeah. keep making greater stuff because the, the next generation of you know yeah obviously the next generation is, is taking over at the moment you know Morissette, KZ, uh, uh, Bula Kale, uh, uh, all, all these James, guys in, oh, well, yeah. Inigo of course it's, it's the, James yeah. Reed you know you get the Kianas uh, you, uh, the new generation right uh, and actually, I mean, Kiana is Gary's daughter, right? Yeah. Inigo is like Piolo's son, so he's like the that's biggest That's what I'm act. saying. So the so new generation is here. Being exposed to such a high caliber of of artistry and on the whole rounder of of the word, it's 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 a huge benefit. It's like that immortality serum that everybody's looking for, you know. And, that, and that's a realization I've made lately that it really matters to what you listen to, and you should be careful with it. Yes, because indeed. it's not that simple because it's in those moments in which you're not paying attention to which you accustom yourself to thinking in certain ways. That's right. So and music has this odd capability of making you go into that state. So and also lyricism wise, I mean, we can discuss lyricism as the song goes on, uh, but it's obviously a great and positive message, actually a very complex message. It's not as simple I as it seems. No, it, I, I think it, it has to do a lot with the spirituality and, oh, of course, like, and, of course. and, 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 and spiritual alignment and but and yeah, also that's everyone's like, universal father. That's right. And and not only that, but I feel like to be a, like a good renowned artist that is this talented, right? That has this amount of talent okay. that is also able to deliver uh, a a message of faith. Okay takes on a whole different type of set of skills to 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 deliver those type of songs like the, you you gotta be aligned in, in 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 the whole of your being you know it goes beyond just singing a song because the message of it is further it means a lot more to them you know? i mean I, I think as long as the message resonates with you exactly it will become an easier piece to sing actually because it's uh, we've discussed this. It's like being completely aligned with your art or with That's who right. you are, right? Mm -hmm. And then you add a, a, a the message that you actually you're carrying a message in which you're carrying a message to which you're a thorough believer of. It will it's therefore aligned with you. It will become easier to perform rather than a piece that you may not believe in. Mm, you know, definitely. So but it, it takes a, it, it takes a certain amount of courage though as a as a performer. 
it it is sure. it's a it's it's a tricky thing. That would to be do. a good word, right? Mm-hmm. Sure, it's courageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am obsessed with the technicalities of this performance. I think it's also maybe courageous might be the right word. Also, humbleness might be a good yes, another word. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because uh, people would relate, you know. I think the universal concept of it is luck, you know. But I think that again, it's not that simple, and and it comes into so many interpretations. You know, if you take luck out of the equation, faith sort of uh, uh, takes that place. You know, so mm. it's it's a. Uh, it, I think it requires a lot of humbleness for artists that have achieved so much to sort of then acknowledge the fact that That's they right. their pieces have aligned themselves by something else that they cannot understand, even in that specific moment. Because that's why music is so bizarre. Because there's just moments that they just they just happen. Like it doesn't matter how much rehearsals you do, it doesn't matter how good you are. Those mo- you can't replicate those moments. Yeah, this seems those, to be one of those. Right? Yeah, those moments of perfect harmony when everything just falls into place. Yeah, yeah. let's keep watching. Fantastic. Tomorrow morning when you wake up and the sun does not appear I can take dude. It's a different piece. It's a medley. It's a medley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After all, and though he loves me so, 
Temptation finds its way to me. But then he reminds us all the time, buddy. Teach me to trust in you with all of my heart. This song is tough to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Shorts that I have, damn. Bravo! Bravo! Woo! <laughs> That's how your brain explodes. <laughs> Transfiguring, like it's not, it's not, it's not physical anymore. It was so spiritual, honestly. Like it's hard to like even explain. It's the really technicality is literally left the wind, like jumped out of the window by themselves. There's like. another one of those pieces, isn't it? What you can just, as a reviewer or, or you know, whatever, you can just sit down and, and enjoy a piece. And enjoy a, a piece like it's a that song is a, it's a great philosophy for life, you know. It's a, it's it's such a just you could just literally have a conversation for days regarding the lyrics of that song because there there is so much, right? Because it, it, you know, it's obviously a worship song, but there there is so much in there, to uh, applies uh, to any no no to 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 break down on both a psychological and philosophical level, and and. On, on, on why that just applies as a philosophy for life you know this this only like relentless capability of trust and uh, and an utter an utter belief you know now like you know we discussed this that father and I discuss this often like like what you know not to get too philosophical about this but this is something I I, I love to read about and, and, and I've, I've been sort of a, a thinking a certain uh, 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 ways of approaching uh, such such pieces of art and and trying to decipher I've been working on this for a while like try to decipher why those moments are the way they are and and, and try and explain them because it's very difficult to explain them it, it's much easier to feel them mm -hmm. you know it's much easier to uh, yeah to experience them rather than explaining them through words 
and uh, and and I'm, I've, been, I've been trying trying to work lately on on, on why that is and and what that is, yeah. right? Because it, it's <laughs> happened. I think if it, it, uh, that's why I encourage everyone to to play an instrument and and put themselves out there and, and be on stage, because it won't happen often. It only happen once in your lifetime. But it's an experience that I feel everyone should should uh, be able to access because people try and chase that feeling through artificial methods. Yes. And when you do it naturally through music, which is like this combination between, I think I think you said it the best in the podcast once, it's like the mix between ethereal and physical with musical. That seems to be a, a good mix of things to create this sort of it's a... It's like a magic potion. This sort of a, a, a... Yeah, somewhat... Yeah, transcendental art. Like, it just makes you feel like you're no longer there. Yeah. And it makes you understand, like... It's you like are much more than just yeah. flesh and bones. That's right. And that thoughts are much more than, than just thoughts. And that words are so much more than the... Just pretty, pretty placement of, of feelings, yeah. Oh, it, that words are more than language. Yeah. That that it, it's not it's not just communication. It's it it goes beyond that, you know. So. Yeah. It's very difficult. I'm 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 still trying to figure out a way to explain it, and I and I and I hope that through as the videos progress and we experience art like this, my argument will become better, you know. But it it's something that I've been really thinking about lately because. I've had the privilege to experience it a few times since I was a kid. But it's so difficult to explain and to why that would happen yes. in the moments it does. And and why does it happen so organically through music? That's a good question. I think it, it, what, what's so Because it's music in specific. Yeah, because if you listen to the chord progressions of this and similar chord progressions to another song with different lyrics and, and perhaps the same uh, genre... It wouldn't have the same effect as if uh, as as it just did now with with the delivery, the lyrics, the mix of the environment, and the connection of the musicians with the audience as well as the performers. So, yeah, I feel like the 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 good question to ask is what is the extra element that falls in between the 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 holes in my mind you know like what is that fills up those those holes that i cannot physically make out you know yeah that, that, that's like moments uh, uh i've heard you know i've heard many artists say this like uh all through all through history where they sort of make one piece of art it could be a song it could be a painting it could be a sculpture and through the process of it they, they make the realization that god is real and and that's an important sentence because yeah. it's it's not you know it's not just the religious god it's like the idea that there is an outside force that allowed me to be able to pursue this challenge That's and right. execute it's a very bizarre concept just as as a me concept yeah alone it's very peculiar and then if you follow it through and, and, a and, religion it's even more complex and and how funny it is like that i feel like spirituality religion and faith are somehow always aligned with art in, in, since the beginning been, of yeah. art like, that's not coincidence like what what is the is spirituality like to what extent to what percentage is the spirituality actually influential in the making of of arts like plastic arts mm -hmm. like because th that that's a good question but lots of inner representation of humanity's greatest struggles pain suffering greatest moments of happiness Greatest moments of achievement. Of elation. Greatest moments, so yeah, yeah. Of, of, of elation, of self-discovery. So it's no wonder that art, it's uniquely human. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the most human thing. I think that's probably what we should show aliens when they come to Earth. <laughs> What's humans? Yeah, what you what should, are humans? You should take them to an art gallery. And art. not just show them Picasso or Van Gogh. Show them everyone's art. Because that's what we seem to make. That's that's what, we that's what we can do that nothing else can. That's right. Right? Show him pictures of war. Show him the art of war. Show him the art of music. All music. The love in every song and every love song ever made. I wouldn't try to explain them emotions. I, I think the best way to explain emotions Literature. is through music and art. 
like to as a foreign concept, if no one knew what those were, mm-hmm. that's what you show to someone to try and understand humanity. Yeah, painting, mm-hmm. dance, music. Yeah, painting, painting dance, dance, music, art, show literature them art. Literature as well. I feel like literature is a great, is a great, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like a great window of, of humanity. Tell them that. Tell them our stories. Tell them our archetypal stories. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah. Show them our movies. This is freaking exciting! I love. I love <laughs> when you get such great performances that spark this type of thought processes and and emotions and inspire you to be better to try to push yourself out of every single comfort zone that you have built for yourself because this is what you should strive for like as a performer this is the ultimate goal that you perform and the audience after is like so soaked in into what it's happened like I've watched the movie that you like you're so invested that that the whole audience is actually invested with you and the conversations that spark from it are just as invested i love this It's awesome. So inspired. What a pair of fantastic performers that should totally be worth studying yeah. from anywhere around the world. Like, I do apologize. Like we, you know, we haven't really spoken much about the piece, but because see, this is one of those pieces where you can just relax, and there's not much to break down. Like the experience of it speaks for itself. Just go watch it, and yes, that's the explanation of it. That's what music at the pinnacle level does. Right, and not many people actually even get to that level. Yeah, so. I, I would suggest, I, I would recommend for you all to watch uh, Gary's uh, video, like in his in his YouTube yeah, channel, awesome. where he explains what happens before and after the the show, and uh, he shares some of his stories as well. So go check that out. Yeah. And if you'd like to support the podcast and more reactions like this, you can do so by purchasing our merch that is linked on the pink comment down below. Booyah. <laughs>